All right, so another bench test video for this time. It's the LM3914 dot display driver. So it's a LED bar graph. Here's a uh, circuit with the bias resistors you need. So there's the main chip and those LEDs are this bar graph. Uh, there's, those are LEDs in there. So it's a zero to five volt input. So I'm powering this up with my Jim X, which I love too much. I, I love it. I get 12 volts, I get ground, I get five volts supply and my variable zero to five from my spare controller here. So I can fully bench test this thing. Although I don't have the right resistors, it's still doing a full sweep. Um, if you want to know how, what voltage turns on what LEDs, you know, just look it up to a voltmeter and find out. You can also make it to where it's, um, instead of, they call it, um, bar or either you want them to light up, um, consecutively, sequentially, or just the one, if you just want the one kind of like Knight Rider. And you need to supply a ground pulse to one of the pins on it, on here. Look at that static electricity turning it on. Anyways, it's super bright as you can tell. My phone can't really, but it starts off with a blue light. So I'm guessing that would be zero, very close to zero volts or you know a cold temperature. And then as it warms up, it goes to green. There's going to be four bars of green and three amber and then two red. And I picked this combination of LED bar graph because it had four different colors. Some will only get you two different colors and it's going to be green and all of a sudden goes red. That's not what I wanted because I want to use these for uh, EGT. So DIY sells a EGT interface that communicates through CAN with the Megasquirt and it also at the same time puts out zero to five volts for every cylinder. So it's eight cylinder module. I'm going to use this for a V8 with individual EGTs. So eight of these circuits built up as tightly as possible, put on the dash. But now I'm realizing it's so damn bright that at night, uh, I'm going to have to have some dark film over these. It is really bright. Maybe even worse when I shut the light off. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think I want that shining on my face, especially eight of these. So I'll put a film over it. But that's so cool. Um, what else? So it involves a the driver, LED bar graph. Buy these on eBay. That's the best deal I found, like five pack or a 10 pack. Uh, they're going to come from China. There actually is a film over it right now, but it's clear. So I need to tint it. And it's a mess underneath. I'll do better when I actually get these working. And so I got a bunch of them here. There are some different styles out there that will give you just two colors, red and green, or red and blue. I wanted something that was, like this one is, it starts off with one blue, and then it goes green, 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 amber, 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 red, red. Because the engine's not just gonna be hot or cold, there's gonna be a lot of in between. And if you don't want all of these to, li to light up and you want it to just to be one segment lit up at a time, you ground this pin here. You can put it on a switch and just alternate if you want it to be a full graph or you just want one segment at a time, whichever one is, is on. So it's pretty awesome. I mean, you can use it for anything. It doesn't have to be what I'm doing. It's, it says zero to five volt. You can read a sensor. You can read fuel pressure, oil pressure, 
boost, anything that puts out zero to five volts. If you want to this kind of um, display on your dash rather than a, a digital readout. I don't think I want eight round gauges telling me my EGT, so that's why I went this route. You can buy a multi-display EGT gauge for a lot of money, but they don't work with zero to five. They don't work with a tuner studio. So this was my only option. So there you go. Pretty cool, I love it.